I'm Angel Rosena. I'm a wind watcher and I'm also an OSG attendee. Tonight, um, let us reflect on how we can love God more. Diba po, in LGI this year, we are breaking through a season for more. So let's um, meditate. How can we be the one who loves Jesus more? Let us read Luke chapter 7, verses 36 to 50. I am reading from the New Living Translation. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to have dinner with him, so Jesus went to his home and sat down to eat. When a certain immoral woman from that city heard that he was eating there, she brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. Then she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them off with her hair. Then she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, Is this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman is touching him. She is a sinner. Then Jesus answered his thoughts. Simon, he said to the Pharisee, I have something to say to you. Go ahead, teacher, Simon replied. Then Jesus told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one and 50 pieces of silver to the other. But neither of them could repay him, so he kindly forgave them both, canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the larger debt. That's right, Jesus said. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash the dust from my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but from the first time I came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you, her sins, and they are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love. But the person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. The men at the table among themselves said, Who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Amen. So, um, from the parable, we can see a beautiful truth. And that truth is that we can love Jesus more. So, there are those who love Jesus, and there are those who love Jesus more. And uh, we want our love for Jesus to keep on increasing. Amen? We don't want our love to be stagnant. We want our hearts to really burst in love for God. And we want to be the one who loves Jesus more. The question is, how? I would like to share, I was a teenager when I paid attention to this parable, the parable of the two debtors. And um, growing up, I was a girl who grew up in church. You know, an obedient daughter, kind sister and friend, a very conscientious student, both in the academic and in Sunday school. So basically, a good person. Who loves the Lord you know I was young then but even then I know in my heart that I genuinely love God and that I tr truly truly appreciate what Jesus did for me on the cross but in the parable we learned that the one who loved Jesus more is the one who has been forgiven more so I remember when I learned this parable my heart was very conflicted because honestly between the two debtors I could relate more with the one who owed less feeling ko ang konti lang ng kasalanan ko kay Lord. Ang konti lang ng utang ko. Um, hindi naman ako magnakaw, hindi ako magbatay tao. And based on the parable, that translates to me being the one who loves Jesus less. Sabi po din sa verse 47 in the Passion Translation, But those who assume they have little to be forgiven will love me very little. And that's exactly how I felt. Ang konti lang ng pinatawad sa akin ng Lord. So, maybe I love Him just a little. 
Bilang bida-bida ako in my heart, hindi ko po yun matanggap. I wanted to be the one who loves Jesus more, but I don't know how. I even had thoughts like, kailangan ba makagawa ako ng malaking kasalanan so that I will have the capacity in my heart to love Jesus more? So, yeah, I had those thoughts, but I just asked God. I remember I wrote it in my journal. I asked God to teach me how to love Him more. So, through the years, I found myself in situations in unfamiliar, uncomfortable, and even shameful situations where my weaknesses were exposed and where the impurities of my heart were, were revealed to me. Sa akin po, to me, not to others. Not everyone can see them because I'm so good at hiding. But suddenly, I was realizing how selfish and proud I was how impure my thoughts actually were and how easily I can actually fall into temptations. And with those revelations about my very person, at some point, I became very frustrated with myself. In my heart, I felt like a hypocrite, you know, projecting a very Christian-like facade but actually was very impure inside. But praise the Lord, praise God, He turned those frustrations into a realization that indeed I need Jesus to save me. That no matter how hard I try to think or do good, I still fall and fail on my own. And the realize ko po na, ang dami ko pala ding puntang kay Lord. The Holy Spirit made me see the depth of my sins and uh, those sins that I wasn't even aware of or I wasn't acknowledging before. And you know, those experiences taught me, made me realize that truly I need to be forgiven and set free. And the good news is that Jesus did those for me. Alam niyo po, more than when I receive favors and blessings from God, I feel my heart burst in love for Him over and over again every time I am reminded of how helplessly sinful I was and how Jesus saved me from that and how the Holy Spirit is refining my heart to be more like Jesus. So what am I trying to get at? My first point is realizing the depth of our sins makes us love Jesus more. Dun po sa parable yung 50 and 500 pieces of silver, they do not represent the count of our sins or how big or how small our sins are. They actually represent the enormity of sins that we realize. So, hindi lang pala yung mga taong may malalaking kasalanan ang may capacity sa heart nila to love God more, but also those who are very much aware of their sins, no matter how small or imperceptible those sins are. And alam niyo po, while we are still in our earthly bodies, diba, we still do some things that later on we wish we could just erase <laughs> from our life story. And most of the time, those are also the sins or the things that we try to keep from everyone else. And though we might succeed at that, we couldn't hide them from ourselves. We're still in the flesh again, so they're in our memories and our life has just a way of reminding us of them. Usually, we would feel bad when we remember or realize our sins. We don't really want to face them. We don't really want to reflect on them because they make us feel guilty or shameful. So consciously or unconsciously, we repress them. We don't want them exposed even to ourselves. But now, we are learning that there is actually beauty in realizing our sins. Because when we do, we appreciate the real scope of God's forgiveness and we come to love God more. So brothers and sisters, let's not be afraid to face our sins. Instead, let's invite the Holy Spirit to expose us. You know, as in Psalms 139, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So, like in that psalm, let's allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to us the things in our hearts that are not of God. But parang po sa paglilinis, when 
we're in our homes, kapag tinitingnan lang natin yung sahig, parang malinis naman. <laughs> Pero pag nagwalis na tayo, dun natin makikita na, ay, and dami palang dust. Dami palang kalat. Pero hindi natin yun malalaman kung hindi tayo nagsimulang magwalis. And that is how we are with our own impurities. We don't see the impurities of our hearts. We don't see the 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 the, the sins that we, we keep it down in our hearts. Yung mga ayaw natin mga pinapakita. We don't see them unless we invite the Holy Spirit to reveal them to us. So, let's not be afraid to face our sins. The enemy uses our sins against us. But instead, let's use the remembrance of our sins as an opportunity to love God more. When the enemy accuses us of our sins, when the enemy accuses us of being sinners, let's look straight at Let's look straight at him and tell him, Yes, I was a sinner, but Jesus already saved me. And that is why I love him so much. When the enemy condemns us, let us respond with praise, thanks, and adoration to God. Again, let's not be afraid to face our sins because realizing the depth of our sins makes us love Jesus more. We realize just how much Jesus has forgiven us and loves us. My second point is, drawing near to Jesus makes us love Him more. Alam niyo po yung woman na to, yung babaeng to, wala siyang pangalan. And there is really no consensus on her identity. But one thing is sure, one thing we know about her is that she will always be remembered as someone who extravagantly loved Jesus. She was the woman who brought her alabaster jar of expensive perfume at the feet of Jesus. So what is this perfume? Ano ba tong perfume na to? What's so special about it? We know from the text that it is something precious, expensive. So this perfume could most likely be all the treasure that the woman had. So literally she gave her all her everything to Jesus. And what's more, I learned that in the context of the woman being described as immoral or uh, sinful, this perfume was actually a tool of her trade. Ano ibig sabihin nun? It was something that she used for the purpose of her immoral acts, whatever those may be. So imagine the very thing that she used for her sins, she poured, she offered unto Jesus' feet. So obviously, this woman knew the depth of her sin. Even the Pharisees, the people around her knew about it. So she, she was carrying the weight of her own sin and the judgment of the people. But she was bold enough to draw near to Jesus just so she could express her love to Him. I read that most likely, the woman's original plan was simple go to Jesus and then anoint him with expensive perfume. Ganun lang, simple lang. But what actually happened? She approached Jesus weeping at dahil umiiyak na siya, she ended up washing Jesus' feet with her own tears. And because now Jesus' feet were wet, hindi niya pwedeng lagyan ng perfume yung wet feet ni Jesus. So she had to dry them. And what did she use to dry them? Her hair. And you know, in their culture, a woman's hair is associated with her self-worth. So, the woman simply planned to anoint Jesus with expensive perfume. That in itself is already a very beautiful expression of love. But, as she drew near to Jesus, she ended up going extra mile after extra mile in her expression of love for Him. So, brothers and sisters, let's not be afraid to draw near to Jesus. Even when we feel unworthy of His love, even when we feel unworthy to love Him, let's just bring our personal alabaster jar of expensive perfume at His feet. And as we come close to Him, as we become overwhelmed with His love, His grace, His mercy, His forgiveness, Repentance and confession will become so easy and it will become an overflow. And we will find ourselves loving Jesus more than we originally planned. 
So let's draw near to Jesus and find ourselves loving Him more and more. Now, this is the promise, brothers and sisters. The promise is that Jesus honors our love for Him. You know, Jesus, for sure, she knew the life that this woman had been living. And everyone in that room expected Him to turn her away because she's, she's unworthy. But she, He did not do that. He just allowed her to do what she did. He just allowed her to love Him. And that is how God is when we offer our love to Him. God will never turn us away. God will never reject our love. And what's more, God values our love for Him. You see, in these verses, Jesus narrated exactly what the woman did at the beginning of the encounter. This means that Jesus noticed everything that the woman did for Him. You know, the tears, the hair, the kisses, the perfume, He didn't leave any detail unnoticed. That's how much He values our love for Him. God values our love. He sees us, every expression of love that we do for Him, even those that are done in secret. In secret, they don't go unnoticed. So, let's just keep on loving Jesus. Let's not be afraid to face our sins, to confess, to repent, and to come close to Jesus so that we can find ourselves loving Him more. Because the promise is that our love for Jesus is never rejected, never wasted, never unnoticed. Our love for Jesus reaches the heavens like a sweet aroma of an expensive perfume. So we can just keep on loving Jesus and keep on loving Him more. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done for us. Thank you for loving us so much that you gave yourself up for us. The forgiveness that we have in you is the reason why we love you. And Lord, hindi naman po namin kayang pantayan yung pagmamahal niya sa amin. But we just want our love for you to keep on increasing. We want to love you more, Jesus, for all that you are and all that you have done for us, all we can offer is our love. So we really want our hearts to burst in love for you. So Lord, we will not be afraid to face our sins just so we can learn to love you more. We will not be afraid to come close to you even though we feel unworthy. We will just come to you with our own alabaster jars and we will just keep on loving you. Thank you because we know that you will not turn us away. You will not reject our love. You will just let us love you. So we love you, Abba Father. We love you, Jesus Christ. We love you, Holy Spirit. We want to love you more. We will love you more. This is our prayer. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for letting me share. God bless you. Good night. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha Yair Adonai pana v'lecha v'yichuneka Yisa Adonai pana v'lecha v'yasem lecha shalom The Lord bless you and keep you The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace